Today, we're going to be talking about how you can take your drift car's looks to the next level by using Underglow. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is Teddy and you're watching Realize TV where we've got lots of great installs, how-to videos, and anything related to drifting and drift cars that you could possibly imagine. Don't hesitate to take a look around the channel and make sure you subscribe. All right, so today I wanna to talk to you about drift cars. So we all know that a good drift car is a drift car that looks really good and looks really flashy. One of the reasons behind this is because obviously drifting is a really visual sport. And it's very spectator oriented and you want spectators to be watching you. So what do you do once you've made your car look visually awesome and you just wanna add something that kinda takes it to the next level? Well, you can add underglow. Underglow looks sick! And imagine if you're like at a night drifting event and you're one of the only guys that has underglow on your car. Guess who everyone's gonna be watching? Bingo! You. So today, we're gonna be putting some underglow on my car. I'm gonna walk you through it and we're gonna see how awesome it looks. So the kit we're gonna be using is an LED Glow Slimline kit. It's actually one of their most basic and cheapest kits. It's just four tubes and these are single color. They have like crazy ones you could get. This is single color and all it is is just a button. That's it and a little bit of wiring, and this actually should be pretty straightforward. Now before we get started, I wanna mention that this is not like a sponsored video or anything like that. I've actually used some of their stuff in the past in my S13, and I really liked it because it's LED, not neon, which the neon easily breaks. It's good if you're gonna be like, you know, grinding rumble strips on the racetrack. It's probably less likely to break. I didn't say it's impossible, just less likely. So that being said, I'm gonna include some links in the description below to this exact kit. You guys can check it out. Those are actually referral links for us. If you guys happen to buy it through that, it won't jack the prices up for you whatsoever, but it would help our channel out greatly. So make sure to check those out. Step one, remove all the arrow and jack the car up. All right, the front tube, Ideally, you want the light to come from underneath the bumper, but when you've got a big bumper and a lot of fiberglass, it makes it kind of hard. So the next best thing is for this front tube to actually illuminate the intercooler. All right, so a quick mock-up with the first tube. We put the bumper on, and this is how it's looking. So it illuminates the intercooler. You know, of course, we always wish we could get the light under here, but with these big body kits, it's really hard. So I think the next best step is just to uh, illuminate the intercooler like this. Obviously, this is a drift car. We're gonna need some steering clearance here. You don't wanna run it through the wheel well. You're probably gonna chew it up. So let's run it through the fender. Wrong size. Now, obviously, you have to have the JDM parts tin or these bolts won't stay. It's gotta be the JDM one. So here's what I ended up doing for the underside. I opted out of drilling holes into my floorboards. So I actually, cause I have a roll cage, I was able to zip tie it directly to the roll cage end plates. And then I put the final zip tie right here on my other roll cage end plate. And that's it for the side. All right, so the next few steps are gonna require me to pull the back seats out so I can run the wiring through the inside of the car as opposed to through the wheel wells or anything kind of sketchy like that. Cause the last thing I want is for my sick underglow to go out at track because I chewed all the wires up. So let's pull the back seats out. Ow. You wanna say that again? I said. What is your seat doing on the roof of my car? So this is awkward. My brother just walked in. I caught him red-handed. I don't know what he's talking about. All right, just gonna drill a small hole here. All right, so now that you've pulled your wire up and through the inside of the car, just get a roll of your favorite duct tape and uh, just make a little bit of a safety tape here for the wire so it doesn't drag down onto the floor. So here's the strip. I'm just running it using the gas tank straps. Hopefully I don't blow up. All right, well, with all the exterior mounting done, now we're inside the car. We've got one lead 
coming up here. This is from one side and it's coming through the back. We've got another one coming from the front and we're gonna be putting the button. We're gonna conceal it here in the glove box. Okay. All right. This is strictly a shoes off zone. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's gonna do it. Bingo. Yes. There's your center console and the button. That's it. And the wires all just come out of here. All right, everything is nice and tucked away. And if we open up the center console here, you'll see there's the button neatly tucked away. Almost looks OEM. All right, well, I've got the lights turned off. Everything is put back together in the interior. I'm ready to hit this button and see how these look. There it is, the magic button. There it is. Guys, this looks super awesome. The camera's really having trouble picking up how uh, bright these lights are, but I mean, this looks awesome. There, we've got the intercooler all lit up. All right, well there you have it. LED Glow's Slimline Underglow Kit. If you wanna make your drift car flashier, this is definitely one way that you can do it. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you guys are interested in checking out or maybe even picking up one of your own kits, we've provided a link for you down in the description below. All right guys, well if you guys found this video useful or entertaining in any way, do us a favor and smash that like button down below. And if this is your first time watching one of our videos, then maybe check out some other stuff we've got on our channel right here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.